Now, when Tariq pieced up out of there a little bit ago before Kane popped in, he hopped on a horn with Davis, asked him to get the address of Carter's people, and they hang up. At some point, Davis goes to see Noma, tells her Tariq took care of Zion, which he already knew, tells her it's going to take a minute to find another crooked bureaucrat slash politician to put in her pocket the way they plan to do with Wiley Adams. But find another crooked politician he will. She tells him she ain't got time like that, you know. He suggests having her put a U.S. citizen as majority owner in her company. He like, you need to put somebody in there you can trust. You can control. She laughed at his ass. She like, what, like you? Cuts him down with the quickness. Now, when David sees this little conversation ain't going nowhere, he shift from business to pleasure like Mario Andretti in the Lotus. He like, you didn't really think you could control me, did you? Gets to touching on that thigh. The pre-porn music start playing, you know, and they cut away from that scene. But when they come back, <laughs> Kane coming up in the crib, sees Davis packing up on his way out. You know, his pressure immediately went up. He like, God damn it, Davis. <laughs> what is you doing here? <laughs> He like, you so hard up for business, you making house calls? Davis like, nah, low player, it ain't like that at all. Called him Junior. Now, Davis's posture and his facial expression was saying, I ain't hard up. Just hard, low player, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> and not from business, my G. This was all pleasure. And the pleasure was all mine. Smell my finger. <laughs> Smell my finger and all of that. Now that's what his look said. But his mouth took the cool route. He like house call, huh? That's what the kids call it nowadays. What the hell I just did. What I just laid down quite flat. <laughs> Davis had that after sex, I just tow it up chill. <laughs> he was like, uh-huh, you don't say. Calls Noma into the room. Tells her to think over his citizenship options. You know, Davis' tie was undone and sh Tells her he'll make sure her assets stay in capable hands. <laughs> Shit was looking hella uneasy up in that piece for Kane. Like the balance of the force was out of equilibrium or some shit. She up in there chilling in the doomy baby house coat. <laughs> Pick your poison. Prince on a do me, baby, like you never done before. Or Bell Biv DeVoe, do me, baby. Uh. Whichever one, the do me part looked like it was done. Looked like she had on that sukiyaki house coat, you know. <laughs> It's all because of you. I'm feeling sad <laughs> and blue. <laughs> you went away. And now my life is filled with rainy days.
Noma had on a sukiyaki silk. <laughs> Yo, if you see Noma in that sukiyaki, you know it either went down, about to go down, or could go down. <laughs> and Kane knew it. He knew it just went down. She looking at David's ass walk out, checking his ass out and sh**. Ain't say one word after David spoke about her options. Just sipped her tea, and that was the tea. <laughs> Came like, hold up, hold up. I know Davis ain't just smash. Oh, I know Davis ain't just smash. <laughs> but smash, he did. <laughs> like Super Mario Smash Brothers. Like Gallagher smashing watermelons. Oh, smash? I believe he did. Now to Kane's comment slash question about Davis potentially enjoying the finest of sukiyaki Noma had on the menu. Noma's facial expression said, and why the hell not? What her mouth said was that she believed Davis was rectifying the situation that he, Cain, caused with her loss of Wiley to Zion. What we all heard was she believed Davis just rectified that ass. <laughs> Scratch that itch. Noma breezed past Cain ass like a leaf in fall. Told him she ain't need to explain herself to the help. He like, oh, why you trying to play me? We both know I'm more than that. Come on. But do we, though? Noma looked like that's how she rolled. Because I, I damn felt like Obi was getting and splitting them cheeks also. And it feels like Kane might be finding himself at this point in his time with Noma. Might be finding himself where Obi was. Within her graces, you know, but barely overplaying his hands slightly with the physical affection he's received up to this point. He might be feeling some kind of way about that, but he wasn't but hurt, you know. Moved on the convo about Effie. Asked Noma to let her go. Said the Russian fiasco spooked her. But she ain't trying to let Effie go. You know, talks to Kane like he unfocused. Brings up Zion again. Kane like unfocused. Called Noma Adina Howard. Said if anyone was unfocused, it was her, you know. Trying to be a freak until the day, until the dawn. <laughs> Trying to get him jealous of her with Davis. He like, I've been holding you down since you've been in my city. Even left his mama side. Noma hit him with the Janet Jackson. Asked what had he done for her lately. She liked to re-kill Zion. And Davis is proposing solutions for my contract issues. And proposing ways to rub that ass each week. What you doing? Told him she don't know Effie ain't a snitch. Because Carter seems to know a lot about her these days. Told him to get out. Take Effie with him. And don't come back till he know how Carter got on her ass. He peace up out of there. 